Welcome to this video on how to use if statements in Excel. To help explain the concept I'm going to use this little spreadsheet that contains the results for half a dozen pretend students. They've just sat a little test in Excel and now we want to know whether they've passed or failed. In other words the grade is going to be either P for pass or F for fail. Now for five students obviously we could do this by hand far more quickly but I want to show you the principle involved. First of all we click on the cell where the grade is supposed to go and since all Excel commands start with an equal sign I'll type in an equal sign then if and an open bracket. We now need to try a logical test. The pass mark for this pretend test is going to be 50%. So if this score is greater than or equal to 50. Well, if the score is greater than or equal to 50, what do I want to be in here? What I'd like to be in here is the letter P. So I'll put that in. What do I want to appear if it's not greater than 50? Well, in that case, I want an F. I close the bracket. So let's have a look at this statement again. If what is in cell C3 is greater than or equal to 50, put in P. If it's not, put in F. Let's try this out. Ah, this poor student, Earl Anderson, has failed. What I'll do now is copy this down and check whether what I've got corresponds to what I think I ought to have. Well, Earl Anderson has just missed out, Joe Bloggetta has passed, Billy Broadbean has passed, Mary Contrary has passed, and Gemma Locke has passed. But Katie Simpson, well, a bit more work to do there. That works fine, but supposing it's a little more complicated than that. Well, let's try different grades. You see, what we'd really like to know is whether what's in C3 is a fail, a distinction, merit or pass. And what we do is we always start with the biggest first. Now I'm going to say that anything over 70, 70 or above, is going to be a distinction. So above 70, that's a D. If it's not bigger than 70, it must be less than 70. So here I need another if statement. If what's in C3 is greater than or equal to 60, we'll say that that's a merit. And if it isn't bigger than 60, well, it must be less than 60. So, if what's in C3 is greater than or equal to 50, then you get a pass. Else, you get a fail. Now, this works fine, except that I've got to close all the brackets. So I'll close that bracket. You'll notice that the green ones now match. And then the black bracket. Ah, I've closed all the brackets. Now let's see what happens. Poor old Anderson, still a fail. But the other students, their grades change. Joe Bloggetta now has a distinction. Billy Broadbean has a pass. Mary Contrary, a merit. And Jamma Locke, a pass. Katie Simpson still isn't making the grade. Well, I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.